So we've done that, she's done 590 mile. By the time I've done four mile down there, that'll be 595. It's nice that they're doing something with these barracks. Yeah. When they've when they've shut them down and everything, instead of just leave them to and go derelict and it's just a waste. Well, the first time we went to that cafe, we got there quite late in the afternoon, about two o'clock, and it was it was about to close. To which he stayed open for us, and we had a cup of tea and we had a bit of cake, and that was it. But we always said we'll come back and try the food, and we've not actually had chance to do that. Tell However, today. wow, that wind. However, today was the day. We needed to do the last few miles on the bike. So she can now go for a service, and that's all done. I've got to sit there and look at it and think, oh. So the price of those breakfasts was was about six pound ninety five. Um, I was expecting like one sausage, one bacon, one egg, a couple of beans, and that would have been about it. You got That's a hearty breakfast. You got a half a tin of beans and half a tin of tomatoes on there <laughs> to start with. Then there was your two sausage, which weren't little sausage; they were nice size sausage and good Lincolnshire sausage. Two bacon, which again was nice bacon. Um, mushrooms and the bread was uh, tiger bread, proper tiger bread toasted nice cup of coffee and like Tez said very quick service you do have a choice of um, breakfast whether you have a half breakfast or a all day breakfast yeah I would, um, I would have imagined that the half breakfast you would only get one sausage, one bacon bad thing I don't know because it's only a pound less, so I would imagine you're probably just gonna. Yeah, you're probably right. Just a little bit less of everything. That's what I would have next time because the, the full English breakfast was just a little bit too much for me. Well, I ended, you ended up giving me a piece of your bacon, didn't you? So. Yeah. So well, well, next time we I go. Did, I did force some down because I didn't want to waste it because it was so nice yeah. that's not like me <laughs> no no you didn't you were quite, normally quite happy to it in fact i left more than you did yeah. the only thing i didn't like which is down to personal preference for me is the tomatoes have the skin on them <laughs> and that's i, I don't <laughs> yeah i don't like tomatoes with skin on them so that's what um that's the only thing and don't get me wrong, you just take the skin off. They were whole tomatoes, I like the chopped ones. But that's, that's just one of those things, isn't it? Hello? Hey! <laughs> the wind taking it? Yeah. Very windy. Can you try and get out of the back over there and see if you can get the whole bike in? I don't know why you've got these 30 signs off. I hope it's adhering to them. Don't too close to trees. It's a bit weirdly wobbly. <laughs> Maybe it's a bit windy to be doing that. Yeah, just I don't a little know. bit. <laughs> Your arm. I say there is a 
quick way out to the cafe, um, which is the way we're going back because we're done now. Um, <laughs> and then there's the longer way which we've obviously did. Which is a lovely run. stronger and stronger. Don't really know what's occurring. Oh, it looks like taking the top off this road. Yeah, power is going to be closed. So if you can't, but I can imagine if you're coming at the weekend, it'll be short. Yeah, I think I've got my two favourite cuffs now. Um, the Rebs and Relics is one, and the uh, the Fawn Cuff is the other. Like them both very much. I love it when the food is good. I mean, the Rebs and Relic, if I remember, they were £7 for breakfast. You, you know, and, and nowadays, that's, I mean, we paid £25 and £30 for two breakfasts. I tell you what, they're taking the surface off this road, it's smoother than some of the roads we've got around our way. <laughs> That's bad that is, when they take the road surface off and it's smoother than some of the roads that have got all the potholes in them. Whoever that is, they're open. Filters, batteries and mantles. Do you deliver? Need a leisure battery. <laughs> Need to get that sorted out as well sooner rather than later. Otherwise it'll be one of them. Should we go away? Yeah, let's go. Oh, sugar. Do you know what? It's feeling quite chilly. It is, isn't it? Must have dropped a couple of degrees. Yeah, it has. Came. Yeah, it has. I think it's worrying more of the open roads as well. You watch next week, it'll be another heat wave. It's supposed to be. <laughs> it won't back and work.
many otters in that Lincolnshire otter? No. <laughs> <laughs> Keep looking for them. <laughs> go, Minnie, go. Hey, Ed. Like in the mini's not very good at roundabouts, is it? Mm -hmm. Could have gone ages ago. Here we go. There we are, already back here. Think then. Yeah, we'll follow him for a bit. He looks like he knows where he's going. Oh, two stroke. Oh, fish <laughs> mode mm. to joke. Can you smell two stroke, babe? Yeah. Get eye on that. Mm. I'll just stay here a bit then. <laughs> you can keep your marijuana. <laughs> No, it could be. It's a nice old bike, I know that much. That much I can tell you. to get chimneys but got all this crap in front of me. <laughs> me. Keep getting gaps. <laughs> <laughs> That's what editing's for. Huh. Quick. Chimbleys. 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 This what? Oh dear. The good job there was a big breeze block there waiting for it. This is um, a really good test for the microphones, that all I all I can say. Bursting with value. Cherry Lane. Mm. Luckily for me, it's closed.
There used to be a cafe there as well, it was quite nice. That's a nice place, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I like you filming there, Doug. I feel like I'm having a cuddle. <laughs> I've got to get close and personal. Hey! <laughs> Otherwise, my arm's going to go, way. <laughs> <laughs> With this wind. <laughs> I know. Round the bend. <laughs> oh, that made me feel sick. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I was just trying to accentuate it. Look at the chimney no, there. No, because no, uh, we're watching what yeah. we were going. Yeah, turn your stomach. <laughs> oh, bless. These might be a thing of the past one day. Yeah, they might be. Well, they're trying to make nuka, aren't they? Mm. And if they do, because obviously these burn coal. Hey, sit still. <laughs> Sorry. That wheel don't look very safe. It don't, does it? No, it don't. And he's not a very good driver either. Well, he's got some weight on, don't Yeah. He has got a lot of weight on though, but half of it's not secured down. That door at the top's not. It's supposed to have a net on, isn't it? We're supposed to have it secured and it ain't. Go. Uh, just an Irishman. Bring it back down and just hold it there and do you do. Yeah, definitely class him as having an unsafe load without a shadow of a doubt. Raspberries as well, don't they? Strawberries and raspberries.
this wind is absolutely howling. It's a proper whippy, whippy yeah. good. Oh, look at the trees. In this it's helmet. Storm when that's going. Yeah. But the thing is, my helmet is normally very quiet and it's whipping in the helmet. Yeah. an old tractor. It is, isn't it? Still working it. Mm. We've seen a few old tractors lately, haven't we? It's quite yeah. a quite a big hobby. But it's nice when you see them and they're actually you know going out in them. Tell you what, you know them chains that are on that bridge back there? They're a brilliant idea. I think every bridge should have them. Yeah. And then the lorries know if they go through and don't hear anything, they can get through. But they if should they go know through the height of the lorry anyway. Well, I agree with that, but some of them don't, especially when they're being put well, in one lorry day. after another lorry. I know. Reversing into a main road, really? Yeah, I knew we'd get away with it. Weren't just wasting fuel, is there? No. 
think they'd have stop start on bikes, wouldn't you? They do on some. <laughs> do they? Yeah. Just not ours? <laughs> no, and Suki don't do it. BMW do. But they do it more on like, you know, your touring bikes. Yeah. Yeah, the R1200, R1213 or whatever it is. I think there's a couple that do it. There's a couple of... That wind is horrendous. <laughs> Just blown loads of crap into my helmet. Yeah, there's there's quite a few. Well, I say there's quite a few. There are a few that do it. Thing is, it's getting a powerful enough battery in the size of battery that you can have. Because obviously they're only small batteries, aren't they? Yeah. So I'm sure they can do it, but then there's the added expense, and let's be honest, we don't really need it. I don't spend much time in town. I don't know why, but I love this roundabout. Probably because they put flowers all over it. Hmm. Don't they? Look, all these, the actual roundabout's well pruned. Flowers, in, I mean, it's Redford in blue. Yeah, it's nice. The thing is that, uh, well, flowers just brighten everything up, don't they? Mm. And when the sun comes out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back through uh, Clumber Park. And third time lucky, you might get your fishing story sorted. Because <laughs> the last two times it just didn't record. So we'll take it nice and steady and um, yeah we had, a, we had a lovely day here yesterday didn't we we did we had a nice little walk around we went around the uh, kitchen garden that was very good a lot of hard work goes into those gardens you got some seeds, didn't you? I did. That I can't put until next year. Oh, okay. I didn't know whether they were the ones you put in the pots and then leave them in the house. Yeah, if you want to come in, uh, it's 5 50 each um, for adults and then a bit cheaper for children. However, if you're in the National Trust, it's free. I know you pay your monthly subscription, which is £12.50 for both of us. It's still cheaper. You get that back in one, one hit. Yeah, we, we've already used more than that in the first month, so, you know. And we've got um, we've got one, what was that? Mr Straw's house we want to go to. Jack Straw's house. Is Jack Straw's house. We tried, we tried it yesterday. And um, it was unfortunately, closed. yeah. So but uh, they open we'll get... Thursday, Friday, Saturday. If you want to go to Jack Straws. Yeah, more more Thursday, Friday. Don't they advertise? There's only a couple of dates in on Saturday that are there. Basically, yeah. it's just a 1920s house that's still exactly as it was. Should be interesting them. I yeah. like to see how others live. Well, we can have a nip up there. I don't think it's a, a, a big stay thing, but you know. We could have a ride up in the car. I love the smell of uh, Clumber Park. Yeah, it's... It's, uh, really got, it's really got that... I don't know, that lovely smell. It's well, people are moaning that... Um, yeah, you've got to pay to go in, and then when you get in, they want your money for everything else, but... You've got to make look, it. Look so what you've got, yeah. Look what you've got to come and visit. You've got to look after all these lovely trees. I mean, I've been coming here since I was all a the child. the lovely walks. Uh, literally since I was a kid, I've been coming here, playing football over there, do you know what I mean? Which is used because these weren't here then, you used to be able to park up in the trees, yeah. in the shade. Always when Dad had a new car, because he didn't want to leave it in the sunshine. So we'd come <laughs> here and he'd park it up in the trees and he get his old Primus stove out, make us all a cup of tea. Get and he always used that, <laughs> always used that carnation milk. Oh, it used yeah. to be in a tin. 
Yeah, but it had its own taste and it just reminds me of holidays and days out doing this. Mm. Beautiful, nice you memories. You make them like they used to. No, I remember once we were abroad and he decided he wanted a cup of tea. So he went down to, because we always went abroad in the car. So we'd have a touring holiday in the car. And he, uh, he decided at this particular hotel that he wanted a cup of tea. Mum said she'd like a cup of tea. So we got the rent and got the primer stove out of the car. <laughs> so he takes it up to the bedroom, makes a cup of tea with it, don't think twice about it. Takes it back out to the car when it's cooled down and everything. And when you walk back in the hotel, you can smell the para burning paraffin. <laughs> Stank the hotel out. <laughs> One of his funny stories that was, and it, it was it, I think it was in Switzerland somewhere. And he absolutely says, I couldn't believe it. And all the, the staff were running around trying to find out where this smell was coming from. <laughs> so he ran upstairs to the room, made mum open all the windows to try and get rid of the smell out of the room. <laughs> they, were, they were running around the hotel trying to find out where this horrible stench was. <laughs> oh, bless. Well, they're really not meant for indoors, are they? They're camping. Yeah. Yeah, they have to have ventilation. <laughs> yeah, a lot of it. Mm. Preferably as much of outdoors as possible. Mm. I've heard that they're going to be uh, taking um, major oak dam. Yeah, I've heard that as well. I don't know how true it yeah, is. Because it's uh, it had the fire a few years, well, quite a few years ago. Yeah, some bright kids, spark. Yeah, then kids just vandalised it from after that. They put um, well, it's got around it. to stop you going in, but it hadn't stopped them, and they've no. they've just killed it. It's just well, it was, it's, it's just it's, twigs now. There's yeah, no it's pretty leaf. much dead anyway. Yeah. There's it's no got, leafage on it. No, at all now. It, it's got um, what's this holding it up? It's just it's supposed to be when you know Robin Hood was planning his his do's and do's that uh, he um, he was supposed it's to have stayed it's there. It's surprising how how many uh, trees Robin Hood's been to. <laughs> the, yeah, but the thing is, they worked out how old. <laughs> the words out how old the tree is, and it's not old enough to have been round when he was there. <laughs> and yet we still look at it as the major oak tree. Yeah. We've even got a monument in Edwardstone. Yeah. Robin Hood. All I can say, you must have liked walking to walk from there to the Nottingham Castle. Yeah. <laughs> and the only reason he had merry men is because he had fry up with loads of booze. <laughs> I need to be with his merry men. <laughs> Me too. Permanently pickled. <laughs> we ransacked a village, did you? Well, we think we did. <laughs> <laughs> Where's all the stuff you need? Oh, um, I put it somewhere. <laughs> Just think of all oxygen that these trees give us. I know. And if we didn't have places like this, what kind of world could we live in? We need in? more. Yeah, no, a lot don't. more. Yeah, because we've got more people. <laughs> well, no, this is true. It just makes me laugh how they're trying to make out we're a very, very green country because uh, of our emissions and everything. That's probably because we sent everything dirty we used to do over to Russia to do it. All our petrol di that's being made now, what used to be made in Colic, Total used to make it down in Colic, industrial estate, but because of all the uh, shit it gave off to the ozone layer, we sent it to Russia. Do they think Russian sky doesn't come over here then? Because as the world's turning <laughs> around, I'm sure we end up with their sky at some point. Oh. We're, no, we're no greener, we just don't do the industry that we used to do. Yeah. And that's the end result of it. We just palmed it off to somebody else. And then you can say, oh yeah, look how you're not very green, are you? No, because they're doing all the crap we're supposed to do. And then when there's a problem in the world, guess what? We all pay for it. We do. Should have just carried on doing what we were doing and we wouldn't have had a problem. Comes to summit, we can have countries holding us to ransom. 
Mind you, the government hold us off to ransom anyway, so enough said. Yeah. Don't forget to vote today. Well, like I say, if they do vote today, it's too late because by the time this video comes out, I think I think we're about four four weeks ahead at the minute. So it's not coming out for another four, at least four weeks. It'll be interesting. <laughs> yeah, well, like I said, everybody's entitled to the vote and you can vote to whoever you think is the right vote for. However, the less votes, I don't know, if you could guarantee that one of the others would get in, you'd vote for them, but they just won't. It's always down to Conservatives and Labour, and they're just pissing in the same pot now. Hey ho. Lovely tea room. Yeah, lovely tea room. Apparently very, very nice. Yeah, a lot of According um, cyclists go in there. Apparently Going. it's to die for. <laughs> Cakes. Freshly made, apparently. Mm. And we've never tried it. We exactly. must. We it's must. Right, it's right on our doorstep, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the trouble is it's not a ride to it, is it? It's, it's just no. there. I'm so full from my breakfast. Right guys, Tess has got a nice little story for around here. Yeah, this brings back some memories. This is the third time <laughs> we've tried <laughs> to tell you this story and all three times, well, all the two times it worked. So Tess, off you go. As a kid, my dad was a keen fisherman. Um, obviously there's three of these lakes. Um, and they're privately owned and you have to get a permit to fish on these lakes very privileged if you got a permit to fish but, um, there's a top lake, a middle lake and a bottom lake and um, as a, like I say, as a kid, seven, eight years old I used to bring my fishing with him and uh, as a kid you get bored I like to fish, I can I can do some fishing. Um, if I cast out, I used to get my line tangled up in a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Got my dad to get it down for me. Um, this That was the middle lake up just past. This one's the bottom lake coming up on this bend. Don't know if I can catch it, there you go, look. That's the bottom yeah. lake. And, um, when I get bored, Dad would, um, there used to be a field at the back of the lake and Dad would carry on fishing and I'd go tater picking because it was a tater field at the back of us. <laughs> There's your field. There's your field, look. Oh, my camera's run out. <laughs> Has it? And, um, oh, I got the other. Yeah, we used to... I used to go tater picking, so my dad used to supply tea, hence the fish, because um, he was allowed to take them home then. I'd supply the taters. And sometimes potatoes to anybody else? <laughs> potatoes, sorry. Yeah, sometimes even a cabbage. Woohoo! <laughs> Depends uh, how far a day go <laughs> before Farmer <laughs> caught me. <laughs> this is where all the twitchers go, isn't it? Here, around here. Yeah, just here. Yeah. Bird watchers, twitchers, whatever you want to call them. Twitter, I don't know what you call them. Twitchers. Oh. Twitch. When you've got a nervous were... twitch. I thought you meant twitters. <laughs> no, twitchers. As in twit. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I get, I get lens envy when they're all out and I see them. They've come further down now because at Lake. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you get Odin's in, in Bush. There you go. Yeah, there's Over there. <laughs> yeah. Is that the gate you used to go through then? Yeah. Uh, some fun times. Yeah, sounds like it. So all my mum had to buy was a peas. So we'd have taters, fish and peas. Brilliant. For tea. 
<laughs> That's why I ain't got any brains, because I don't like fish. Because <laughs> fish is good for the brain, apparently. So they say. Fish is good for the brain, apparently. So they say. <laughs> The same as shit's good for your roses. Yep. I don't very often eat uh, fish. No, it's very mind. rare, isn't it? Yeah, I don't mind a bit of addock or a bit of cod, but um, trout and stuff like that, <laughs> no, not for me. No. I know somebody did got some salmon once and said, oh, you're going to love this. He was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't at all. Oh, well, you've got two different sorts, haven't you? Pink and red salmon. Yeah. Well, the one he got was. Um, I think the red one is stronger than the pink. It was salmon coloured. <laughs> That's all I can say. Uh, and he promised it was going to be a very special treat, and it. Uh, my dad <laughs> was. Uh, my uncle was a gamekeeper in Scotland. And we used to go up and he showed me and Dad how to catch a, a trout without a fishing rod or anything. How were you doing that then? Tickle the belly. Tickle the belly? Yeah. Put your hands in and, yeah. and just wiggle your fingers and, and they like the feel of your fingers sort of thing. Oh, right. And they tickle your belly and then you catch them. You've got them. <laughs> wow. You don't see them when they spawn. Yeah? You've seen them. Yeah, on waterfalls. They jump. You wouldn't believe it. They, they, they can jump. I they, have seen that, yeah. I've seen them going upstream. Bit. Yeah, about 10 foot high. <laughs> Just to get yeah, a bit of lucky. <laughs> yeah, because they go back to where they were born, don't they, or something? I don't know. No, they do. Uh, do some they funny things. Jump some. Oh. Well, guys, hope you've enjoyed our ride and that little story from Tez, which is always good to hear. Um, we'll see you in another video. Take care, everyone. Look after yourselves. Ride safe. Make sure you subscribe. Press the bell. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care.